I recorded a whole video. And I forgot to press record. So, it's not going to be a first time reaction. <laughs> it's, it's very frustrating. I was very excited. I am still excited. It's still a great song. While I get my stuff put back together, uh, I've been a Perfume fan for a long time and it was actually like one of my gateway groups into like the broader Asian music market. And uh, I was a teacher in Japan when the song uh, Let Me Know came out, which is probably one of my top two or three favorite perfume songs still. And I, and I came to class the next day and I was like all excited. I was like, hey students, um, did anybody listen to the new perfume song that came out yesterday? And they were like, perfume. And I was like, yes, yes, perfume, perfume, the three girls. And they were like, hmm, they're an old group. I was so defeated. Do you have any idea? Like, I was so excited to like, talk to real Japanese students about real Japanese music. And oh, they're, they're an old group. And I was like, well, they came out with a new song. I'm like, no, really? And I was like, yes. And I started like playing it. And they're like, oh, I did not know they were still making music. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's, let's talk about anything else. I'm uncomfortable. How about abortions? Let's just go. Let's just get. Um, I made the comparison to World Order, obviously. Right, they do the whole walking thing. Um, what I love most about this video is that, you know, it's, it's almost always one frame and you don't know how they filmed it. Yeah, it just keeps you questioning everything about your life. <laughs> Me? Okay, I'll tell you. Yeah, so what, what I think they had to do was they filmed uh, the girls separately from the background dancers and they're not actually dancing to the music most of the time. This is my hypothesis, right? Because they have to speed up and then rewind and stuff like that. So I think it's more like they're just on a beat so the editor can do it. But one of the best parts about this video is like, you don't really know how it's edited. Um, we can only make like some general assumptions, which is fine, it's fine. I also love that it's distinctly a perfume song. I wish it was a little more creative musically, but I still love it. Also that zoom. So, <laughs> she's so pretty. Anyway, with that, with that camera zoom, by the way, I have to cut a lot of the music. Um, YouTube really hates Japanese music and they block it in all countries when you try to play it. So sorry about that. Um, but that zoom, if you notice, that's not like a camera zoom. So I think they're using a camera that records in like maybe 8K. So you can zoom in really far and still get a clean 1080p image, which is really, it's really cool actually. Um, you would not have been able to do that zoom in shot, you know, 10 years ago. So it's nice to see. I'm gonna listen to this when I clean my house later. <laughs> they still look good, but you can tell they're getting a little older. This is one of those groups that they've been around for so long. They're like my older sisters. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, I love this. I love this dance break. You really don't know what how they're filming it. Um, I think what they did is filmed it very slowly. What I think they did is they actually, like in real life, they're very slow, and then they kind of sped it up and then slowed it down very quickly, and dependently of the background dancers, which really messes you up. And that's, I mean, obviously that's why the song is called Time Warp. Warp, warping time. And then we get all the Easter eggs from like their childhood, probably. Which is, I think another throwback because Let Me Know was about their childhood too. If there's like a bigger overarching like um, perfume music video universe that I don't know about, can somebody, can somebody tell me? This is like the Pixar theory. Very exciting. I said this before, I, uh, you can tell it's a perfume song, which is a good thing. Did they make it unique enough without the music video to say we're adding something new? I don't know. I don't think so, actually, but I love Perfume, so like I love this song because it's 
you know, very generic to their brand. But, um, but like Cosmic Explorer is a great is a great example. They really expanded. <laughs> you know what I mean. Should probably talk about K-pop. Um, as a as a K-pop person, there is a distinctly different flavor to Japanese music. Um, that's I don't even know how like the bubble poppy, not hyuna, but like the high pitched. I don't know, just the, I, you know what I'm talking about if like you're a fan of both J-pop and K-pop. Um, so it's honestly like I can't like one without liking the other. I mean they are similar but they're different enough that like if, I, if I'm in a specific mood, you know, I won't listen to K-pop and I'll switch over to J-pop instead um, because they are different enough for sure. I'm in my sister's apartment by the way. It's, it's dirty back there. Oh, don't look. But uh, I also love perfume because of the, the, the techno in the background, the electronic pop that they use. It's almost like the Japanese style of like Daft Punk. Um, I'm curious um, if you are all like big uh, perfume fans, what's your favorite song? Like I have a really hard time with that one. Um, Tokyo Girl. I listened to Tokyo Girl while I was like on a plane to Tokyo. <laughs> I was like, it's me. The song is about me. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost like Wednesday Campanella. Like I honestly cannot give you a favorite song. Every day my favorite song changes. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Da, da, da.